Hey everyone, big update to my statistical stretch script. Welcome to SETI Astro. I just recently pushed the update out to the repository in PixInsight, so if you have it via that, you should already have the, the newest script. Otherwise, you can go to my website and under PixInsight scripts, scroll down. I have version 1.3 here for download as well. This will be a quicker video since everybody knows what's going on with the, the tool right now, but it'll be under script, utilities, statistical stretch, and here's my new version. You can go ahead and select your image from the drop down, and it's going to go ahead and calculate the preview for you. Once the preview is there, you can uh, move it around with your mouse or the scroll bars or even just resize the, the screen bigger if uh, you have the room on your desktop. And then you can go ahead and, and just make these adjustments. Uh, adjust the target median, maybe you want to change the curves boost, uh, and then just hit preview refresh. It's going to go ahead and do those calculations in the preview, adjust the preview for you, and then when you uh, are satisfied with the settings you have for your image, go ahead and click that execute button. And now it's actually going to apply those changes to your main image there. And, and there we go. You can go ahead and close the statistical stretch script itself. And you have, uh, you have your stretch done. It, it should make it a lot easier to utilize the script uh, and see what your end results will be prior to you committing on your image. Another question I got a lot was sometimes on the color, uh, after running the script, it would look green or blue or red. My script preserves color balance. And I think that's very important because you go through and you run SBCC in the linear state, right? Or you run color calibration in the linear state. You want that balance preserved when you stretch. You don't want your stretch to start messing with those color balances as, as a rule. But let's go ahead and look at an, another. So utilities, statistical stretch here. Here's a color image. Uh, this is my M83 RGB. And I'll go ahead and calculate the preview for us again. And here's our preview. And again with uh, distinct objects, you want to darken that background. So maybe a 0.1. And we still want to brighten that galaxy up. So go uh, 0.16 on that curves boost. You could uh, preview refresh and it'll update the, the preview for you. And yeah, I think that looks pretty good. You could just click execute then. And it'll execute those changes on the, the main image. So we can close this and I can turn off STF now. And there's our, there's our main image with the, uh, the curves adjusted how you had it in the script. I want to talk about the normalization option. What that does is it's going to ensure that your final image from the darkest pixel to the brightest pixel will fully utilize the entire range from zero to one. For the most part, after you stretch your image, the brightest pixel will probably be near one somewhere. There'll be one pixel somewhere that is going to be right up near one. It's just going to ensure that we don't leave any dynamic range on the table and fill out that whole range. You may have situations where you don't want the histogram to fully fill zero to one. In those cases, just leave it unchecked and you'll notice it does produce a dimmer result here in the preview because it's not fully pulling the entire image range up to zero to one. Uh, it was a very subtle change here. You may not even see it on YouTube. And then this is a distinct object. So let's just uh, finish off the processing here. We'll uh, set the target median down to like 0.11 to darken that background and we'll give it a curves boost to ensure that our signal stays uh, relatively bright here. Maybe even more. We'll preview refresh again, just to see how we like it. And then execute.
And then you could exit the script again and there's our really dim sharp list 313. One last thing, I did recently put out my Eagle Nebula uh, video and uh, uploaded it all. And I will say, uh, I didn't use GHS at all. I used my statistical stretch to get me where I needed to go. I used a little uh, luminance layering to control the core a little bit better after the 4X palette utility. And I will say this looks amazing for not even uh, touching GHS at all. Again, I am not a coder. This script has taken a lot of work for me. I think it's well worth the effort to get something uh, great out to the community. So if you don't mind sharing it with uh, everybody in your circle in the community on a, a pretty nice initial stretching tool here, I'd really appreciate that. Please comment, like, and subscribe.